Hello, it's uh, Lex from Land Rover Lex. So, today I will be giving you one reason why you must go and make a reservation on your Grenadier when the reservation opens on October 14th. Just one reason, that's it. Well, should we, should we get going? Let's, let's do it. Now, if you are pressed for time, the one reason is production. That's it, production. So if you have to go, you can go now. But if you've got some time to listen, hang around and I'll tell you the reason why I think production is a good reason to go in early and make a reservation. Okay, let's dig in. Now, why production? What does that really mean? What am I talking about? What do I mean by production? Uh, okay, let's see. So in this video, we will be doing a lot of calculations. So get your calculators out. And if you're good, if you don't need it, just get your brain ready because I'll be throwing numbers at you and I'll need you to verify my calculations. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comment section. So let's start with one figure. Well, 75,000. Now, 75,000 is the number of people who are classified as early and early hand raisers. Now, these are the people who went on the uh, Grandias website a couple of months ago and said, look, count us in. We love what you're doing. We want to follow your journey. We are committed to you. We'll follow you all the way through. There is an astounding 75,000 of them and I, I am I am one of them and um, so what happened was Grenadier were they were, they were they were taken aback they were they were touched by these 75,000 group of people who said look we want to follow you and uh, we were rewarded we were rewarded by giving uh, an opportunity we were given a two weeks window to make our reservation before the wider public are able to make their reservations for the Grenadier, which is amazing. Thank you. So, and I said in an earlier video, in a separate video, that actually my view is of those 75,000 Heli and Razors, I think roughly 50 to 60% of them will probably go ahead and make a reservation. And the reason is because we also then found out roughly just over a week ago at the BTG event, which is building the Grenadier, the live event, we found out the price for the, the base price would be 48k, which is quite steep. And we will, we also found out that I think we would have to pay 450 pounds. I think actually we found out the 450 pounds reservation fee before the event because we were sent the activation code. So we found out it's going to be 450 pounds. And I think the purchase price is quite high. 450 reservation fee for some people is probably quite, quite high as well. So I think they'll probably experience 40 to 50% drop in the, number, in the number of people actually going ahead to reserve and potentially buy the car as well. But before I go into that, so let's, take the, let's look at the numbers again. 75,000 people were given the reservation code. I reckon to be, to be nice, 60% will have made a reservation by now or will make making a reservation. So that 60% of 75,000 is, yes, 45,000 people will have gone ahead and made a reservation. Now, I feel of those 45,000 people, I think some will drop out when it comes to actually committing to buy, to buy a the Grenadia and going ahead to buy it. So I'm estimating roughly 80% of the 45,000 people will probably go ahead and buy. So what is 80% of 45,000? No, you got that wrong. You, you got it right, yeah. The answer is 36,000 people. So from 75,000 people who initially signed up to say, we're going to support you and follow your journey, I reckon Gurindia will probably get 36,000 people following through, which is, I think, reasonable and that's great. 
So that's 36,000 people LA and raises. Let's put that figure aside. And uh, now let's focus on a separate set of figures. Now, all of these figures are mostly guesstimation for me. I'm just guessing based on what I've read and seen online so far. Uh, but let's do it with a, a different set of figures. Now, when a reservation opens to the wider public in four days' time, so on the 14th of October, uh, let's say we take a year period. So let's say within the first year, how many people do we think globally are likely to go ahead and reserve their grenadier and then go ahead and commit to buy it and actually buying it. I think given the incredible work grenadier have done so far to generate so much interest, I reckon that figure could be very high in terms of actually people going on to reserving. So let's say we pick a figure, let's say potentially in the first year from 14th of October to uh, 2021, to 13th of October 22, I reckon maybe 250k people will go ahead and reserve. But I think actually if we focus on those who are committed buyers, I'm going to go with a very conservative figure here and that could be wrong potentially. I reckon of the 250k, maybe 120 or 115,000 people will go ahead and actually buy, like they're solid buyers in the first year. So now we've got 36K from the early addresses, and then we've got 115K from global uh, reservations and committed buyers. So if we add those two figures together, what is that? Yes, that is 151,000. Now, I think we should just round it up, you know, let's, let's round it up. So let's say it's going to be 150K, committed buyers. So that's, that's this from Alien Reserves and uh, 114K from global uh, uh, buyers. So now put that 150 figure to one side. And uh, I'm going to play a video for you right now. It's a segment of the uh, conversations and sort of Q&A from the BTG event uh, on the 29th of September where uh, the sort of Grenadier uh, directors and uh, a, few, a few of them were asked questions about the Grenadier and sort of reservations and how much it gets allocated to different regions. So I think it's worth watching this video and I think it will help put into perspective my point on production and what is feasible uh, based on demand. So let's let's watch this video now. Hopefully this works. Uh, and, and just picking up on that, do you, is there a sense of what the volumes, the number of units will be going to these different places? Because the, the factory in in, in Mal is coming in Hamback is coming along nicely. Uh, it's obviously it's producing vehicles now, but they're all they're still prototype vehicles essentially. So, so how many are you going to be able to churn out in a year, and, and, and how many are going to go where? Um, Jeremy, what are your uh, I'm, I'm happy to take this one. Uh, you know, I, I'd say you know to start off, you know, we, we've always been talking about you know for BTS 2026 around the 30,000 uh, you know vehicles. Of course, you know tonight we know that you know it's the 75,000 people. When you said that they're really interested, so we, um, you know, um, very excited about the prospect of that. In terms of where we're going to uh, volume across the world, uh, you know, is it for Gary in, in, in UK, in UK in particular, two and a half thousand to start off with a peak year of six thousand. Um, in, in 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 countries like so, so Tim Abbott, you know, it probably starts with five hundred, but then goes quickly up to the thousand. Tim Abbott is the guy in charge of South Africa. So what um, selling is saying that so selling is the Global head of sales, uh, Grandias global head of sales and distribution. Selling is saying there that um, for South Africa, they'll start with 500 units in the first year, and then they'll work it up to a thousand units by year by the by year 2026, which is the year they they're classifying as the peak year. Um, I'll play the rest. And in the US, um, you know, we're, 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 we would be going up to about 4,000 uh, going forward. So it's, 
Um, the plan I was meeting was to, is, is, is to get it to that 30,000 uh, by peak year, but we can imagine that that peak year is going to be pulled forward from because 2026. Of, because of the interest. And because and of the amazing demand that we've been building. And the great thing about the factory is one of the reasons for buying that factory and, and going in there is it has scalability, it has the potential to build more. Exactly. It's, it's, it's a fabulous factory and it's got a hand battery. So we've been an OEM in fact manufacturer of vehicles since January because we're building the Smart 4.2 as a contract manufacturer for Mercedes for whom we, we built the, the Audi Bought Smart. So um, that's great expertise being, uh, being delivered there. So um, yeah, and there is there is more room. So we could we could do more. But um, we said from the from the from the start we wanted to take it to the lead. We are a new kid on the block. Uh, we've got to prove ourselves, but we'd be likely to have the problem of taking the volume up a little higher. I'm sure you would. So that uh, is a segment of the video I want, wanted to uh, show to you, but also for us to discuss. So a few key points were made in that video, and I'll cover a couple of them. So number one, I think it's worth you being aware of, is uh, the point Selin made about the peak year, and uh, the uh, Grenadier had a target of 30,000 units per year by the peak year. So what the, the way I'm interpreting that, and please tell me what you think, if I'm, if I'm wrong or if there are other perspectives, the way I'm interpreting, interpreting that is, they want to be able to produce 30,000 by 2026. So in five years time, what that means is, they will start production slowly. So start with, with, with a lesser number and then walk their way up until they get to 2026 and they can make 30,000 units per year. Although we know, as it was said there uh, by, what's the guy's name? Mark Tennant, who is the commercial director. Mark said, they can increase production to 50K and the, the, the Hamburg plant can accommodate that. However, another very important point to be aware of is, Mark also clearly said towards the end of that uh, segment that they are new to the market. They want to gradually build up. So, Whilst they can probably make 50k, maybe not, whilst they can probably make 30k in year one, I think they're intentionally starting with a, with a lower production number and gradually building it up. And I think that's a fair uh, approach to take because they're fairly new. They want to get it right. They have to get it right. There's a lot riding on getting it right. So I agree with that approach. Uh, and then a few other things to just pick up there. I think this is where it begins to get real. Is, I'm just checking my, my, my figures here. If you have things to pick up is, Celine said in that video that actually in the first year, only two and a half thousand uh, units will be made available to the UK. Two and a half thousand in year one. Uh, and then they want to get to 6,000 by year five. So by 2026, they want to be able to produce 6,000 units for the UK market. And then for South, South Africa, to start with 500 will be sent there. And then they want to get to 1,000, just double that by year five, which is, it's, it's quite low. Uh, we, did, we were not told what the starting unit will be for the US market, but we were, we were told by Celine that they want to get to uh, 4K by the peak year, so 4K by 2025. 2026 and I know men are region so men is basically Middle East and Northern Africa that region is so so important for Grenadier particularly the Middle East uh, in a different video I saw where Mark Tennant was being interviewed he said that you know the Middle Eastern market will be at the forefront of uh, receiving deliveries as well as the UK when production, when and the units that's within of the production line. So Middle East is a very, very important market for them. So we won't give you the figures for Middle East there, but I've done some estimations. And also we were not given the figures for Europe as well, for the EU. But I think we can we, we can estimate and I can go in through those figures in more detail just very, very quickly. So my estimation is Grenadier will be looking to produce 10,000 units in year one. And I think 
they will then ramp it up to maybe 13,000 units in year two. And then year three, they'll probably do 18,000. So add 5,000 uh, to year two. And I think they'll keep year four stagnant just to maintain that slight increase. So year four could also be, 20, will be 23K. So 5,000 increase as well from uh, year three. And then I think by year four, they would have been making this for some time now. I think they can, become, they can be a bit more confident and actually increase production. So I think year, th year four will be 23K per year. I think by year five, they should be making, they should be able to make 30,000. So I think they can hit that target of 30,000 units by the peak year of 2026. And then I think it can go up from then on. But what that says to me is, production of the grenadier won't be able to match demand now let's bring those numbers back into perspective so remember the 36 k we discussed earlier for the early and the 114,000 we discussed for the global uh, committed buyers my view is if we add production figures my estimations of year one and year two together. So I said year one is 30, 000, uh, 10, 000, and year two is 13,000. That gives you only 23,000 units just in the, in the first two years only. That doesn't even satisfy potentially what the early addresses could want. So if we begin to add the figures together and if we assume they want to be able to produce 30,000, and I appreciate they can bring it up, they can bring it forward due to interest as they've, as they've, as they've said there. But if we go with the, what, we, what we currently know, by 2026, 20, by the peak year, they would have only been able to produce 94,000 vehicles. Now, if we put that 94,000 vehicles against the 150 we were talking about, it will take a very, I mean, it will take roughly five years for Grenadier to meet the demand for the first year of reservation plus the earlier and Andrews's only. It will take five years to meet a reservation for just one year. That is astounding. Now, we, are, we also know that that's, a, that's an active decision they've made and we know that they can increase capacity, but even then, these cars are going to be gold dust. So what that says to me is, if you are remotely interested in the Grenadier, you just simply have to throw your hat in the ring and get in as early as possible. Now let's put that in a different uh, uh, perspective. So the other way to look at it is, if you were to make a reservation on the 14th of October when it opens globally, it's highly likely that based on production uh, figures, you probably will not be receiving a delivery for another two years. Assuming even, or if, even if only half of the alien raisers go ahead and buy, you will have to wait for two years before you can receive delivery of your green idea. Now that's two years for you to think through how you can come up with the money and to save up. So your current car closer to the time. I think two years is a very long time financially to plan. I still, I still, I still appreciate for some people it would still be unaffordable even if, even, even if you give them five years. Definitely. But think about it. So in a way, if your key worry is, oh my gosh, I can't afford it. It's too much. It's crazy. I'm saying actually, if you plan your reservation properly, you can probably afford it. Well, you can't probably save up to have to afford it. So there is time and you don't, you won't need to part with your money for a few good years, purely because Grenadier have taken the decision to slowly ramp up production. And for me, that is an amazing reason to go in early, just put your hat in the ring, pay your 450, your 450 pounds and just wait. Just wait and wait and wait until you are called to come in and configure and then commit. What do you think? Is that a good enough reason? Is it not? 
please comment uh, down below. I would love to hear what, what you think. This is a very quick short video, but please share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And uh, that's where I end this video. So if you have enjoyed this video, if it's been useful to you, please give it a thumbs up. That's a like. And also whilst you're there, please click on the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And share with your friends. And yes, one more thing. Please, please, please follow us on Land Rover Lex. Uh, thank you. Adios.